Welcome to episode 34 of Confessions of an SEO. This is your host, Carolyn Holzman. You have found the most non-SEO SEO podcast in the world. Ted Kubitis from SEO Fight Club started calling Confessions. It's like Radio Lab, but for SEO. Because you'll find that most of what I share are stories mixed with a little bit of SEO stuff. And if you do find any shiny new SEO tactics, if there are any in here, it has been completely by accident. Here, you'll find the people side of SEO. It's, um, it's time, I think, that we put a human face on our misunderstood and often maligned industry. This is agnostic information concerning SEO from someone who's been there on both sides, a brick and mortar business owner for over 28 years, really just trying to get more business, and a reformed client SEO of 12 years so far, but now a seriously seeking SEO researcher and tester. I am not here to sell you, but I do deeply, deeply believe that the farmer and the cowboys should be friends, that there's mutual revenue opportunities when we can understand each other's work better. And frankly, I am super tired of hearing business owners say they got scammed and good SEOs tell me they get hung up on when they try and reach out to earn new business. So. If you're an SEO, a business owner, or a C-suite executive working with an SEO marketing group, kick your shoes off, put your feet up, and take a breath. I am back in Texas this week, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's definitely, I'm not at my most spry, but I do understand that everything passes, so I hope, uh, hope it does. Well, you know I was super excited in last week's episode when a business owner sent in a proposal, an SEO proposal, so I could help, uh, help her understand what was in it. And I got another one for you, and this time it's from an independent SEO about basically how do we know we're good at SEO when our clients only tell us something when they're unhappy. And while I may be swooning from the Texas heat, this is very cool for me. I, I feel like Sally Fields when she accepted the Oscar saying, right now you like me. And for those too young to remember her speech, you go ahead and Google it, um, Sally Fields Oscar speech. And what's super cool is there's a Vanity Fair article in there um, about uh, talking about women getting recognition as well. So it's a very complicated reference. But um, I am working on a response to that how do we know submission. So it's baking, it's just not done today. So I thought today what might be useful and kind of right at the, the speed that I'm working today, um, making this an episode about a response to um, all the questions on Facebook and various SEO groups about what they're seeing in Google Search Console. And typically, this is, this is what it sounds like. It takes various forms, but basically, can anyone help me understand why a number of my web pages are marked as, quote, crawled, currently not indexed, or, quote, discovered, currently not indexed? There are a lot of SEOs, and I, I do assume they're SEOs, but it could be just as likely business owners doing their own SEO. Um, which is why this topic would be, or I believe should be, of interest to both. Because I've had clients who've read the emails that Google Search Console mails out, and they read them like they got a letter from the IRS and they want their CPA to explain themselves. So when you log into your Google Search Console, I want to tell you like where this is. So just in case that you haven't experienced this, you'll know where people are seeing this. So you log in to Google Search Console, and there's an option on the right, uh, right-hand right side in a panel. It's under index, and you're looking for coverage. And once you click that, what you're looking for is where it says excluded across the top. So you just want to select that one. And what that shows you are all the URLs on your website that are excluded from the index. Now we do need to understand index. That's like um, when you are looking for something, you use a keyword, and it's where you would expect that page to show up for. 
So, so it's looking, it's telling you all these URLs are not in the index. So you cannot do that and find them. So um, what basically started happening is uh, Google comes up, came up with these new messages. Okay. So all of a sudden Google says, basically, we know you have a page. We know about it. Either we've discovered it and we'll crawl it later, or we've crawled it and we'll index it later. So when questions like this get asked publicly, in response, there are a lot of people that quote Gary Illis. He's a Google guy. And they say, yes, they know about your page, but there's something wrong with your page quality. Now, most SEOs think that means the quality of the content, how their content was written, and Google just doesn't think it's good enough, which Honestly, as a tester, I have to laugh. You probably don't know, but I have to say it this way. Do you know how many random English pages I have indexed? They show up when I look for the fake keyword on the page. And I guess I must write some pretty compelling gibberish. But no, Google uh, doesn't specify what they mean by uh, a quality content check. So I'm going to share with you my take as a tester and a member of a testing mastermind where we all see these things. We all rank these types of pages and we all see these. Google is taking a lot longer to crawl and recalculate the scoring of pages. There are complete sections of Google's data inputs that are flatly either offline 100% or they're intermittently turned on and off. So how would I know that? Testing. But it, before I digress, um, getting back to the to pages, when you see these messages in Search Console, you need to read them and understand it's Google's way of saying, we're running behind or we're running way behind. And I'm sharing this because it's essential to us as SEOs that we know what we're really experiencing and that we have an accurate way to describe that without waiting on Google to tell us, we can say what's going on. I'm on a mission, people. When it comes to us as search professionals, we have way more experience than our clients and we must speak it. We must tell them, don't wait for your client to get that email and call you because you get them too. You're, you're, you know, if you're a manager on their search console, so forward it over and tell them not to worry. This is Google speak for, quote, we're running behind. And as an SEO, you must understand it is not you. You didn't do anything wrong. If your clients press you, tell them you know from a trusted source. Quote me if you have to. But be the leader in your agency, your department, your division. Do not hand that responsibility over to Google. You've got this. Resubmit if you must, but then move on to the things you can impact, the relevance of your next page, increasing organic traffic. Okay, I will get off my soapbox, but just until next week. Well, this brings us to the end of this Back in Texas episode. Thank you for listening. I do appreciate receiving your questions and comments which you can send to confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com. Next week, I'll be talking about the latest submission that I mentioned at the top of the show. If you missed it, episode 31, the bits and bobs, I asked for both SEOs and businesses to send in their observations, experiences, and in that episode, I'm requesting some specific things so we can crowdsource. And anything you send in, is going to be presented on the show without any identification so you can share freely and help yourself and others who are like you without feeling like you're blowing your up your cover and um, because i mentioned testing uh, episode eight what is seo testing if you're looking at what that is and why i'm such a strong proponent of seo testing or as i said to a colleague this week i am close to being in the um the equivalent of go back and formulate your question better and we can talk. See, I told you, I'm now that I'm back in Texas at the end of August, I'm, I'm salty. Anyway, uh, 
I definitely would appreciate you subscribing to the podcast wherever you listen to it and let your friends know about it. If you want to share with colleagues or business owners, just copy the URL of the episode if you're on your your computer. It's also on Amazon Alexa. You can listen in your car. And of course, if you just Google Confessions of an SEO, you cannot miss it. We all stand to make more business and success with each other when we both the SEOs and the business owners understand each other better. This is your host, Carolyn Holzman. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the SERPs. Thank you.